recognizing your weakness, it drives you to God. Immediately to God. Believing in faith that He's the fountain He claims to be. That He's the source and the helper that He claims to be. That He is one of unlimited resources. That He does not greedily hand out to children, but He lavishes upon us. So see, your problem is that you're really not recognizing your weak. Or you recognize your weak, but you just stay there in your weakness. The thing is, your weakness ought to drive you to God. I saw someone last night and I dealt a long time with them. Precious little girl. She recognized her weakness. She recognized her frailty. She recognized her sin. She recognized there were some things in her life she couldn't overcome right now. But here was her problem. She would see her sin and because of the work of the devil and sometimes our own heart condemning us, she would put herself in the penalty box every time that she sinned. Well, you can't go to God right now. You can't just keep running back to Him. I mean, you sinned yesterday and you repented and asked for forgiveness. Now you've done the same exact thing today. I mean, you run back to Him, you're just a hypocrite. You don't appreciate God. You don't have a high view of God. What do you think? God just hands out pardon to everyone? And isn't that what we do? And isn't that what we think? We sin a sin that we've already sinned and already repented of, and because of it, we think we need to put ourselves in a penalty box for a little while at least, a couple of days, and try to work our way back into favor before we come to God. Because if we we think, actually, you mean if I go back every time I do this, just immediately, not only going back and asking for forgiveness, but expecting forgiveness, isn't that hypocrisy? Isn't that a low view of God? Isn't that treating God as a forgiveness machine? No, it's being biblical. It's what poverty of spirit is supposed to do to us. I'm talking to genuine Christians who really want to be something they are not yet. But when they find themselves frail and they find themselves weak and they find themselves sinning the same sin, they kind of huddle over here and wait. Maybe read their Bible a few days, pray some more, show God they're really sincere before they run over there and actually try to get some forgiveness. No! One of the great joys of my life is when I discovered that the moment I sin the sin I always sin, my first response ought to be to latch a hold of Christ and not beggarly, not thinking, oh, here I am, you ought to strike me down. But no, I latch a hold of Christ saying, I believe your promises. I am in a different realm. I am free. I am a saint. I've been moved out of Adam and condemnation and law. All of it was paid for on that tree. When he died, he knew all of it. He forgave all of it. I'm free. It's absolutely spectacular. Spectacular.